Yeah, this is a little video of our 1999 Safari Trek diesel, and uh, we're going to be selling it here shortly. And uh, I just wanted to make a little video of the inside. I had some outside shots there. Uh, my wife has decided she doesn't like to drive it or hasn't tried, so we're going to sell it and uh, get a little smaller van that she can uh, travel on her own when she wants to with her daughter. Anyway, this is a little tour of the inside. And all the glass in here is just perfect. There isn't a single crack, ding, or anything. No delamination on the uh, insulated windows. So everything is great there. Here's a little view of the uh, driving station here. And all the cabinets in these uh, safaris uh, are all hardwood, real hardwood. That's how they did it in, back in 1999. So. Everything is in real good shape and uh, that kind of thing. And uh, believe it or not, this motorhome was a very luxurious motorhome in 1999 because of the uh, build. It's all built with aluminum materials on the outside, aluminum uh, framing and aluminum siding. So it's painted like an aircraft with aircraft quality paint. So that's why you won't see any fading on the outside like the fiberglass ones. And then uh, in the front here we have the leather, uh, ultra leather seats I think they call those. And uh, they're fully adjustable every which way. Electric heated mirrors. And uh, my wife had made these curtains all the way around. So this area here will enclose into a complete room where you can kind of have a, a separate bedroom. Now the magic bed that these normally came with was pr problematic uh, for the uh, previous owners uh, mechanical wise. So they took it out. And we refinished the ceiling here with the same ceiling material from the factory. And so it's all been refinished. And in replace of the magic bed, we went to the magic couch, which is a hide bed that folds out into full-size bed with a memory foam mattress. Very comfortable. And uh, you just have to remove one chair, and it all folds out, and you have a bedroom. And then the curtains are in the back here that... Uh, completely close it in so if one person likes to sleep in like my wife and I like to get up early I can go out here in the kitchen and sit out here and uh, she'd have a complete uh, darkened uh, bedroom to sleep in and here's a little view out the window on the side here we're at home right now and then this little table here folds out I'll have some still pictures of this one folded out you can use it for like a computer table or for eating whatever and this is an optional chair that we'll keep unless uh, somebody wants to make a deal on that. but And then uh, this table here in the kitchen originally came just like this and non-foldable. It was not foldable from the factory. So I converted it into a foldable table. So it has, it's hinged so it'll go fold flat, taking the leg, leg off there. And it gives you more uh, room for chairs or just walking around or whatever. So makes it a little bit bigger of a motorhome here. And then this little board here folds down for even more seating room if you want it there everything's in real good shape and then uh, here we have a new thermostat a digital thermostat for the air conditioning and furnace all working well and uh, up here all the lights have been uh, I'd say 90% of them been turned into LED converted lights so they're all uh, real good shape and saves on your battery there's two house batteries into this and two motor batteries, but they can be hooked together for additional, you know, power for boondocking. Uh, there's a switch down there by the steps. And up here we have the control panel that tells you all your levels, propane, and your start for your generator and all that kind of thing. And I added this for battery uh, monitoring here to make sure my batteries are water heater. Now the water heater is uh, not a traditional water heater. It's a very expensive uh, continuous water heater. So it doesn't have a tank. It turns on the propane as needed when you need water and turns off. So if you're at a campground, you can uh, hook into a water supply and you can take an hour shower if you want. So that's kind of a neat feature and it really works well. And a little, little view of the table down here and then into the kitchen. This is a new Domatic refrigerator, all automatic and it really works well. Keeps everything frozen and cool just like it should. And the kitchen part here is uh, the sink is uh, all one piece with the countertops, which uh, allows no seam, so it's very easy to clean up and all that. So 
and the water pump has been replaced so it all works well and then the uh, power for the inverter is right here that you can turn off and on and uh, get your uh, inverter power when you're uh, off of shore power there and it has a three burner stove a propane stove all of them work well no oven in this one but uh, it does have you know, lots of storage down there and storage everywhere in this thing and up above we have the microwave a uh, brand new microwave works really well and it will work off the inverter and we have more cabinets over here all matching curtains more storage cabinets cabinets everywhere more cabinets up here try to move this booth now we'll go on back into the bathroom and I'll turn on a light here. We've got some sunlight reflecting there. Now here's the shower tub. So it does have a tub. I've never ever used it as a tub. I'm a little bit big to get in there, but you, you can uh, have a tub and use that if you wanted to. And it has a new uh, skylight up here for uh, you know getting the light into the shower area. And more storage and more storage all over. The toilet it really works well. It's a fat brick toilet. And lots of storage under here, and the full full size mirror here. I don't fall into the tub, so it's a full full length mirror. You can see your whole self there, and make it even if you want to. But I don't like seeing myself that much. Okay, and then up here we have the fan for the bathroom keeps out the uh, moisture in the bathroom, and we do have another fan here, a fantastic fan for cooling it down if you don't use the air conditioner. So now I'll do a little quick walkthrough again and get my phone out of the way there. And hardwood floors in the bathroom and the kitchen. And the carpet's pretty recent. I don't know the exact date on that. And we'll end up back on the bears. And you even get the bears. Okay, see you later. Thanks for watching. Thank you.